This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the Frozen Hour of Code course. I am on, uh, uh, which is called Code with Anna and Elsa, and I'm on part 11. Let's see what we're going to be doing. Did you know every snowflake is a different shape? Ooh, I did know that, but it is cool. Let's create a new snowflake by using another repeat block to repeat a parallelogram four times. And we learned about the parallelogram last level. All right, turning right by 90 degrees between each parallelogram. All right, so quick reminders, here's the blocks we can use, here's our code workspace, and seven out of 10, it means that we have seven lines of code here and they want us to do it in less than 10. Here's our game area. I'm gonna slow it down a bit and then I'm gonna hit run to see what this code is actually gonna do. This is the code they started us with. Okay, so Anna traces one of the parts of the triangle. Try replacing the three question marks. Okay. And if we ever need a hint, if you hit run and something goes wrong, they'll offer you a hint. I think we're going to be all right for now, though. Okay. Where are the questions? Oh, right here. Hmm. All right. We want to turn right. So when we are all done, uh, turning right by 90 degrees. Okay. Let's try that then. I'm going to test this out and reset and run. Hmm. Okay, so that looks good. We turned right by 90 degrees, but we didn't draw that again. Why? Hmm. So I think we need to start writing all of this code again. However, we don't even have that option. It's not like I can say move forward. It's not over here because they want us to use another repeat. So we can have a repeat inside of a repeat, which sounds weird, but I'll try to explain. I'm going to drop this in and then I'm going to attach it all. So what this one does, what the one they gave us when we started does, two times, so it draws one side of the diamond and then another side. Because we move forward, we turn 60, we then move forward again, then we turn 120, which is this way, and then it repeats, right? It hits the bottom of the pink, so it goes back to the top. It says, nope, we've only run once, so I'll run one more time. We move forward. We turn 60, we then move forward again, and then we turn right. 120, which would be facing this way, and then we turn 90 to have Anna face this way. So, this draws one part of it. We need to draw, well, four parts. So now, this code will be run four times. So, it will, so the computer's going to say, okay, I need to do this four times. For first time, okay, I'm going to run this twice. First time through, I draw one part of the diamond. Second time through this, I draw the second side of the diamond. And then, once we're done running all this pink stuff, the code, the computer drops below and looks for other code. Oh, and I need to just run this once. I'm going to turn right 90 degrees. Then it hits the bottom of our loop, goes, oh, I need to repeat four times. Well, I've only run this once. So now I'm going to draw the other part of this diamond. Oh, okay, I need to repeat this twice. I'm going to draw this part of the diamond. And then I'm going to go back around and draw this part. So on and so forth. Let's see if this gets us what we need. So it's looking like this is the correct code. for At least it's what I got. So if you want to compare your code. Awesome. And we did it. So again, that's the code I got. Worked for me. Great. Let's keep going.